We're back on Broadway and we're actually in the very room where we did the rehearsals originally for the first production, so ooh. <laughs> You know, they're stepping into some very big shoes uh, and I think they are all very aware that they're taking on uh, roles that were done so brilliantly by the originators of those roles, uh, but they are so equal to the task. I mean, it's, uh, you, you saw it today, they were unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, the getting ready right. Ragtime is essentially the story of three different families at the turn of the century. Uh, a New Rochelle family, white Americans, African American family from Harlem, and an immigrant family, and what happens as the events of the century push their stories together and cause them to kind of explode into uh, what's the occurrences of the times. We're approaching this from a, a production standpoint in a much more impressionistic way. There are no literal depictions of anything. So the car is not an authentic replica of a Model T. It's made out of scaffolding and it's suggestive. The piano you saw does not have keys, but when Cole House plays it, music comes out of it. In no way is it an austere production. I, it's hard to describe what it is. I think uh, she's directed it for an emotional truth. the message of family, I love the message of hope and pursuing dreams that everything is possible and love, including everybody, to make sure that whatever you do, no matter what it is in life, that you're always conscious and cognizant of other people around you and giving and loving and sharing. It's not a selfish, you know, lifestyle that we live here, so it's about love and connecting with people. Half the cast came from D.C. and half the cast is new in New York, and we blend, we just like kind of fuse together perfectly. It's been awesome. So much of ragtime is about finding finding the right people to give life to these characters and the score is very challenging vocally and emotionally and you know you hope that you can find those people and uh, the fact that we have a Cole House and a Sarah who are making their Broadway debut and that we found these extraordinary talents is it's, 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 it's just wonderful and I think it's going to be really exciting for, for New York to get to experience uh, these new actors in these roles. So delighted to see this musical back. I think this is is a definitive piece of craft of what musical theater is, and to have the privilege to be a part of it, I'm I'm beside myself. I remember it being in high school and hearing the album from my car CD player for the first time, and I was so shocked by the power of that opening number. I'll never forget hearing it for the first time. It's just glorious. It's one of those scores that every piece comes through and you go, oh God, it, it, this is stunning and beautiful and, and uh, emotional. Back in the days when everything seemed so much clearer, women in white who knew what their lives held in
the music is just stunning and the story is, is so well told. I think Terence McNally really did a wonderful job of taking E.L. Doctorow's sort of spare dialogue and, and spare storytelling and translate it to the stage in a way that we get the story but it's not overwrought in any way, and the music complements that so perfectly. I promise to America and little one we're there. America! Our feet are on the solid ground and hope is in the air. America! You'll soon be eating apple pie from a china plate. Pretty dresses, pretty dolls, just wait. Or shining in your tater's eyes and just beyond this gate, America! When we went to do this at the Kennedy Center, we thought it was just a three-week run. But the minute the curtain went up and they started singing that opening number, there was a connection between the audience and the stage, the great dialogue that any successful production must have. And we only ran for five weeks in Washington. So we've already decided we're running 47 years. So you have to all come and buy tickets and come back and come back and come back. Red Sox!